Hello and welcome back to another episode of The Last Hope. I guess we have to go back in here, even though I've, <laughs> I have no idea how to do this lever. But we'll figure it out, right? We always figure things out. Okay, so we, we know the layout of this room, or this lever at least, so that's that's good. Uh, and we know we need uh, E and B and A in order to get out. We also know that E is up here and it's a sensor thing, and we know that A and B are over here, and they are also both sensor things, so ultimately that means we need to either find a way to move the sword from here to A or B, which seems impossible, because if we are standing on E right there, we can walk out here and walk across this, but then this door up here is... C, I believe. Yes. And C, we cannot trigger in a meaningful way. So the sword can't walk back there. The sword, the sword could drop down here. But then we can't we can't leave this room. We could only swap. But then we can't leave this room either. And the sword can't do anything up there either, right? Pretty sure that's true. Also, there's nothing on the second layer of that floor thing, right? Don't know what the point of that really is right now. I mean, we, we, there's still. I think I might have to just drop down, like be the soul, then switch with the body and then switch back. But I don't know why I would want that. Because it feels like I would just be stuck once I'm at the swap thing here. I'm just stuck. It just seems like a bad, a bad thing for us overall. I'm really not sure how to do this. Because I can't, I mean I can do A and B and then E with the sword up there, but then I can't leave. Because if I walk through here then the sword gets reset and then E is not pressed anymore. And if I put one on D, then I can't do both A and B. And I also can't get the sword, if I could get the sword off, but I only have to have E open for me to walk in there. So if I could get the sword off of E onto, well, the one we didn't do, A, presumably, that would be nice, but we can't do that either. I mean, this door would be open, but we can't get out out here, unless we also have C open, which you can't, because then I would have to be down here, and that's, that's defeating the whole thing. Because I can't be down here and up in this room. Basically what I'm saying is it doesn't make sense. <laughs> this does not make sense at all. I don't even remember how this goes, to be honest with you. Is this the start? It's A start. And now I would have to put the sword here and hit that button for good measure. And I could get down here and also no, hit that button. <laughs> and I could open this door and I can walk out here. Yeah, that's our start. The one we had last time. And I can stand on E. I'm down here now. And then, then, then I don't know. From here on out, I have no idea. Because it's just impossible to swap. I guess never a way we can swap in a meaningful way. Because I'm, I'm always resetting before. It makes no sense. But it has to be, that has to be the key. <laughs> it just puts me in such a bad spot, because if I... If I jump down there with the sword and swap... I might put the sword somewhere useful, but then the body's gonna be trapped in there. And I have to get back to E somehow, which I can't. Unless I like, reset and do what you just did again. I 
I, I don't know how to do this. It makes no sense to me. Because <laughs> uh, I need A and B now, and I can't do A and B. I need to do A to be able to get up to the next floor, and then I need B to get, be able to get, go for the door. And yeah, neither neither makes sense. And I need D as well, so I can actually leave this without getting rid of E. So I'd have to do A and D. That's what we did last time. That was our last step. And I have two open doors. But not not free, and I can't get B open open at all. And from here, I can't do anything meaningful either. Like I can go in here and then s swap. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, I can swap, and then I can actually go out here and fall down, and then I can. Is that it? No, I can't fall down because I'm not there anymore. I always keep forgetting. I, I'm not up there anymore. I can't fall down. I'm down there if I swap. And then the sword is in here. The store is closed. And the body is down at the start, so that's completely useless. I would, I would have to swap in a different way. And I can't do it. And I can't do B. Because I need D to leave without resetting the sore. I don't know. This makes no sense to me. As of right now. If I do A and B, then I can't leave here, only here. That resets my sore. That closes this door. But on the plus side, we can go up here, I guess. Which is not really all that much of a plus, because this is like the wrong spot to be. Because up here there's nothing. And it's not like I can swap from here either, because I can't reach the swapper ever. The swap is always behind the fusioner, so I'm always gonna be resetting my sword and then I don't wanna swap, obviously. Because, I mean, yeah, I can run, run down here and then I can swap, and it's amazing because it doesn't do anything, because there's no sword. <laughs> I'm so confused by this. And I mean like this, I can walk out here. And get up here. What's the point of being up here? I don't understand it. This would only make sense if I had a way to swap. But I can't ever swap in a meaningful way. It feels impossible. I can drop down back here, I guess. But why would I want to? I can I, I I it feels like I need to find a way to make this thing useful and I don't see how. <laughs> I just don't. So there's no way I get the body in there unless I swap and I can't swap because the body would have to be in here when the sword is up there. For that to be a thing, that's impossible, because I can't get out of here. <laughs> And I can't kill the body either, there's no platform to fusion the other way. Okay, so I can go up all the way and then I could drop it back down. But why? why, why would it, I could put the sore up top, I guess, and then drop down. And then I could do C. And the sore could get to E. 
That's useless. Like, this I understand. This I just avoid by doing D. Which just costs me one sword or fragment. This I just don't understand because it's unavoidable. And I can only get the sword in here, not the body. So the, the sword can drop down here and then be there, and then I can swap it, and I'm just gonna be trapped in here for the body. It's not it's not helping me, because I can't get anywhere, can I? I'm so confused by this. So if I use okay. What if I... Come on. I hate the fans. So much. so hard to find buttons. Okay, what if I go here? And then... I do A and B? No, I can't do A and B. It's impossible to do A and B. Because then I can't leave if the sword's still up there. So I can only do this, and then the only thing that gets me anywhere is A, because B is just up there. So I can be up here. All right, and now I could swap and have the soar up here. But then I can't have E. I guess let's do it anyway. thinking here. I don't see a way. <laughs> I really don't. What's the key here? I somehow need A and B and the sword on E without... That's impossible. Or I need a way out for the sword. Which I can't have because C... I can't, I can't be in there and then switch it. I don't understand how this is supposed to work. At R. It's everything is useless. I can turn it on B now by walking down here. But then I mean it's off again and I'm like this is cause she's stuck in there, it's useless. The sword is stuck in there and I can never get it back out. I I can fuse it together again, I guess. So if I actually run across here and go back up Then I can fuse it. But I can't have B on. So I would have to run back down and do C again, and then that's that's the start again. That's the same as the start. I don't see how this helps me. It has to though. Because there's no other like I can't get past anything here. I don't, I don't get it. <laughs> no 
I mentioned that I hate the fans. Oh, come on. What? How did that boost before so much? There we go. And now I could drop down there, but that's useless. I don't, I don't see what, like, I don't know what the purpose of this is. <laughs> because I can have A, B, and D, and then walk up here. And then if I could get down there somehow, I could do E, and then I would have A, B, and E, and I could just leave. But I can't get down there. Well, I guess I can, but there's no spot for me to drop where I can land, right? I'd have to land on the lower floor here. And that seems impossible, the way it's set up. That's why it's set up that way. <laughs> Because then I could I could fuse the sword here. And then I could drop. And while I'm dropping I hit control. Which would make a sword on that floor. But I can't keep the body up there, and then the body would be down here and the door would be closed, and then that's nothing again. This does not work. <laughs> this whole thing is impossible. I don't understand it. so slow I hate it okay if I do this and then I actually do fuse the soul back together oh, I just goes here it doesn't like disappear right so I can actually do it like that I don't know why I didn't jump I guess I was too late I have no idea I don't even know what I'm trying here this does not make sense I don't understand this button like I there's just no conceivable way that makes sense Yeah, I can't I can't make that useful. It's just in the worst possible spot. <laughs> it feels like it wouldn't be here if it, if it were actually useless though. So maybe maybe I'm still missing something here. I don't know. I don't see it at all. This is driving me crazy. Why is this so hard? Like this lever just doesn't make sense to me. Basically, at R. Why can I not jump off that slab? I just always run off. <laughs> I just wanted to see how far I can get. I don't think it's it makes difference. I just I tried it and it didn't work, so I had to try it again, and now I tried it again and it also didn't work. From here I could maybe jump here and from here maybe I could jump around the corner. <laughs> I couldn't. I don't know. But I mean I guess this would be different. Actually
Wait, this makes sense, maybe. Does it make sense? I'm not sure now. But maybe. No, it doesn't make sense. Or does it? I need a different way to get the sore onto E, I guess. I need a setup like this that gets me onto E. I don't know how to do that. Actually, I do know how to do that, maybe. If I just run over here, then I drop right here and switch, and then fuse myself, then I'm here, and I can do this. And I can drop down here, and I could... I would still have D and B, but not A. I still can't get it like that, right? Because then I would, I, I can't... I mean, it's a different way to get the result here, but... This is what I would have had instead, and I would have been able to come out here, but that's useless. Because I don't have A, and if I do A and B, then I can't leave again. Always the same problem. I don't understand this lever. I mean, it made sort of use of the double floor thing, but not really. Ah, <sighs> oh, come on, that was in time. Screw you. If I look, do it like this, I could get up and I could... But I wouldn't be able to go through B then. I don't know how to... I need... Okay, if I four and then I switch and then I... I control the soar instead. I can walk over here and then I can swap. We should keep. No, I would put a button. The, 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 the thing is, it's like that's that switch button, the position switch button is in the worst possible spot. It's so useless because then I would be down here, and the sword would be up there and could walk onto E or whatever. But I can't leave. But then I could switch again. And I could put a soul fragment on E. And then... Right, maybe, actually. It has to be very fast. That seems impossibly fast. But I think I have something that gets me somewhere now. If I do this, and then run out here, and then do this. And then go on to B. And then switch, and then I'm too slow. And then run here. Yeah, but that's resetting D. And then I can't leave again.
Now I can switch and run here. But no, I'm not sore now, right. The body's down here. But yeah, no, I can switch again. And I could put a sword fragment here. But I can't get the sword back down there, can I? No, I can. Ah, it doesn't quite make sense, does it? If I put this on E, I can drop down here. Make a new sword by fusing the sword back together with me. Put that on D, walk out the door. But then I need A and B, so I need the sword to go from D to A and B. Or I need to be so fast that this is still there, but that seems impossible. But that, that's actually a viable thing now. I am excited about this. If I put this here and then I drop down here, and then I, I fuse the sword. I should probably fuse the sword first, because I want to be fast. I can't fuse the sword first. Um, can we just teleport it here, which would not be what we want. I need a sword on A and B for sure. So I need sword fragments on E and D. But I can't get the second fragment now, because I can't... I can't get to the button. I mean, I can get to the button, but I can't get back up here with the body to put the fragment here. So if I put the fragment here just now, and I drop down there and stand on D, then I can walk through this and then out that way. But my soul can't walk through that barrier there. And the soul can't fall through this either, so I can't... How do I get the soul back over there to A and B then? And myself out with the soul still there, that's impossible, right? Oh, but I could just give myself a second fragment at some point, right? Because I don't need a door. Yes. Okay, I think I got it now. It took way too long, but I think I got it finally. So what I do is... I forget what I do, actually. I put a sore on A, right? That was the start. Then I put a fragment on D. And then I run out here. Yes, I'm an idiot. <laughs> and then I don't need I don't need that to be extended at all, right? Who cares about that D door? No, I do care about the D door. Ah no, so I'm not an idiot. Well I am, but for different reasons. So now I can go up here. And do this thing, but then I can't give myself new fragments because then that resets the door, which kills that plan. Hmm. <laughs> there's no way to fuse otherwise. Oh, that's frustrating. But then from here, there's no way I can do it. And I don't think I can be fast enough to have this still be D. The one frag when I placed like an hour ago, because I have to do so many things in between. And I can't get back to that button either in the meantime. So I have no idea. 
so I don't have it. If I put a fragment on E, then I drop down here, I guess. I could also drop down over there, I guess, if I wanted to. Because I could switch. I could switch to Sol, walk over there, and then switch back, and I would fall down there. Sol would be down here, I would be up here, or down there, I guess. I could get two fragments then, but I would kill this fragment, so that would be stupid. We shouldn't do that. I'm over there, I fuse the souls. I just can't leave then, no, I can't do it. I have no idea how to do it. But yeah, it makes sense to have a fragment on D and one on E and then the sword for A and B. But I, I can't I can't make it happen. I don't know how I would make that happen. Because I can only have one fragment here, uh, unless I missed a way to get a second one. Which I don't think I did. There isn't no. I don't I don't get this. Because if I do this and then drop down here and then I switch and bring my sword here, then I can let myself out through this door. But I can't get the sword over to A and B. Because it's just impossible. get it still. It's not good. Feels like I've spent so much time on this I should have a better concept of it. Because I don't even know, I, I'm not sure. Like my theory now is fragments on D and E and sword on A and B. But I don't know how to get to that point. Basically I would need to find a way where I drop from the second floor and then I I can get new fragments but I, I if the store isn't here for A and B, I can't... I can't get it out. If I press the button for new fragments, I have to have the door open. So I have to have that on these. I can only have one fragment, so I walk out and then I fuse and then I can walk over there. And then I can swap. And then the store is here and the body is down there. And there's no way, there's never an opportunity for me to hit the button again. And I can't put the sword on D instead. Because I also need A. And it will just result in this. No, I need A and B actually, yeah. I mean, yeah, I can hit the button now, and then I have two fragments, and then I can get up with two fragments, but I can't, I can't, 
I can't do the sores. So now it's, there's no way for me to kill the sore. To get it back up there. There's also no way to do it up here, obviously. Which means if I drop now and switch, it's pointless because I can't... I can fuse. And if I stand on D with the sword and put fragments on A and B and then fly up there, it doesn't matter because then I can I could walk out here, but then the sword close again. And I couldn't even walk out here, but fuse up there. <laughs> so I can't get to the button like that either. I need to find a way to get back to the button from a position like this. And I don't know how. It seems very much impossible. This is so hard. It makes no sense. get us the same result again anyway, so who cares. I need something different and I don't know how. And there's no point in letting the sore out anywhere because... Because sores don't fly, right? Well, this is off anyway, but... I don't, I don't understand how to do this, like at all, still. I'm just a fragment short, or a path short, or um, a fusion, fusion thing short, or something. I need something else, and just, it's just not there, I don't see it. This just makes sense economically, because I can do both A and B from here with one sore, which is cheaper than two sores. No way. Yeah, there's no way there's enough time for anything here. It's impossible. This feels like such a promising thing to try, but I, 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 I don't know how to make it work.
Okay, that was... Yeah, I stopped recording there because I was annoyed. <laughs> and yeah, my phone rang. Uh, but now, I'm back. And I still don't know how to do this. But let's just try, <laughs> I guess, something. So what if I... Let's say I put the fragment here. I switch. I switch. I run over here. I switch. I reset my sword. My sword is here. I drop down with the body, go on to C. The sword walks out here. E is still open with the fragment. I run through there, go through E. I switch the body, drop, body drops down here, get two fragments. Does that work? I think it might. I just have to be very fast. Very fast. Unreasonably fast, even. Yeah, I can't do it. Not enough time. But that would work. Because then the sword would be in here, I would switch to this, get two new fragments, put them in A and B, and be done. So I, that's another way it could work if I'm fast enough. I just don't know if I can be fast enough. This is so tough. Are these possible solutions that are, don't quite work out? Very frustrating. Um, Spawn facing this way, not that way. But okay, we have to spin around. So I place this. I have to place it here, right? I can't switch and run over first, because then I won't be able to place this anymore. So I'm pretty sure I can't place it from down here. Yeah, no way. Okay. just not enough time. I just need to get to this button really, then it'd be good. I just don't know if I can do it. I don't know if it's possible. It's very tight. If that's the thing we need to do, then man, this is a rough lever. I know I can be a little bit faster still, but I don't know if I can be fast enough. But also I have no other ideas, so if this is not it, then we're officially stuck on this lever. Hate this. No, the button. There we go. Wrong way. Timing here is not as important. We just need to be fast enough to get out through the door. With the sword, which is not that bad, fortunately. slow. I 
Wait, I can make this easier. Right? Yeah, I think I have the solution. I'm just not doing it as efficiently as I could. I think. I have to actually try it. I can't... I got, I'm too tired already. I'm not tired. I'm just, like, annoyed, <laughs> really. At my own inability to solve this in an efficient way. This is still all good. Yeah, this is the best way to do this, for sure. Yeah, okay. And now, but what I can do now is... I can... Yeah, I'm stupid, right? I can just switch this. And then I can just... Yeah, I can just stand right here. Which makes this entire path much shorter. There we go, finally. That took so many iterations of attempted solutions. That was the hardest level yet. And it wasn't even that bad in the end. I just really didn't see that path, that potential path, man, for so long. Wow. But he got it. So that was a super long episode, I think. Uh, I might cut around in it a little. I, I really don't know how I ended that first part of the recording. <laughs> I might have just been standing there a bit looking at my phone and contemplating stopping the recording, and then I did, because I was stuck anyway. So I don't know. I don't know how long this episode actually is, but yeah, that's it for today, man. Next up, I guess we go back to level five, because in the meantime, I'm sure we missed, or I missed, you probably saw it, or uh, the code for this puzzle, and then we have four more to go, I guess. In levels 20, 25, 30, 35? How many levels are there even? I I don't I don't know. Thirty, so there's no level thirty-five. Huh. Well we'll figure it out anyway. That is it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.